Now Cyberpunk releases in a few days, but many many people already have the game. And if you look in the right place, there is footage everywhere. Today I want to talk about some of the things I have seen and well, what can I say? I'm actually shocked and surprised at the same time. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. Now obviously this video will not contain any footage of said leaks, but might contain a couple of spoilers, so if you do want to stay spoiler free, leave now people. Now I've said this in the past and I know it's true from a few of my recent videos on leaks where people come to my channel where a video is titled gameplay leaks and are left kind of disappointed due to me not showing any footage, which I can't do people nor would I if I could, but I will talk about said things with spoiler warnings in advance. Now cyberpunk leak footage is all over the internet and CDPR are doing a decent job in restricting how much you can see, but Reddit is utterly full of footage people. Now because I ain't the kind of person to really care much about spoilers, I did have a look through a lot of leaked stuff and wow, what I have seen is truly amazing. Now as quick as leaked videos are being uploaded, CDPR are taking them down. So some of the things I have seen already ain't on the internet anymore. So firstly, which I do want to pick up on from the footage I saw, was just how dense and populated the streets looked, with options to speak to absolutely everybody. It actually surprised me as it was believed on console, which was the footage I saw by the way, it was said to be torn back a little with how populated some streets will be. But from what I've seen, although it wasn't as populated as the original footage we saw ages back, it was how you'd expect Night City Live to be. I also got to see some night driving too, which I will add looked absolutely great. Details on the car stood out and it looked as good as I'd imagine coming off recent gameplay trailers. And I also saw footage of some dude on a motorbike doing or attempting stunts. Not a part of any quest or anything, just jumping off high ramps and things. Looked pretty good and controlling both cars and bikes looked fairly easy to do also, which I'm glad for. What I also saw which looked as in depth as I knew it would be was character customization. Now I made a video on this yesterday, if you missed that on screen now you can see most of the options we saw that were available. I've also seen some of the creations people have made and wow, I've seen things from the depths of hell to things you'd want to marry. And personally I cannot wait to see some of people's creations. Now I did see many possible story spoilers which I won't mention here but seriously interesting things for sure with the likes of SideQuest 2. I also saw a really interesting scene which includes a hooker. We saw said character picking up the hooker off the streets and then it skipped to a first person cutscene. What I saw I will mention is actually far more than I thought this game would get away with and shocked me at first. I saw more than I thought I would but we'll just leave it at that. But it did seem here that the hooker was just randomly patrolling Night City and although she did look like that dancer from the trailers, I ain't sure if it was the same person or not. But yeah, like I said, from what I saw, I was actually kind of shocked. I mean, this first person sex scene went way beyond what I thought we'd actually see in this game. So this game is definitely an 18 plus. It's definitely an M for mature. And it's probably not a game you want to play in front of the younger generation without that nudity filter switched on. Let's just put it that way. Now, one thing I will add before we end, the combat system in terms of meleeing or using those fists looked a little clunky to me. But unless I get a feel for it myself, I won't judge it. But from what I've seen, it doesn't look like CDPR have put their all into this form of combat. Hopefully it's better with the swords and whatever else, but using those fists and swinging certain things looked a little clunky. That's just my opinion. But guys, my thoughts on this leaked gameplay from what I've seen so far, which obviously can't hide things we should be worried about. In my opinion, it actually looks promising and the game itself looked to run quite smooth on last gen consoles, always being PS4 and Xbox One. Now the game's here in a few days, 3 days to be exact, probably less by the time you're watching this video and as soon as it lands guys I will have all kinds of videos you'll definitely want to see and not miss out on. So make sure you subscribe if you are new around here. And on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived, if you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out and hopefully I will see you on that next one.